And good morning. It is Monday morning and the weather is finally warming up. It's been in the negative 10, negative 20 degrees there for the last week. And today it's a blistering 25 degrees out. So as you can see, snow's starting to melt. Things are getting cleaned up. I'm at the shop here right now. I'm gonna go see what the guys are working on. I got uh, one guy in the shop working today and I got two guys out uh, pushing snow piles back. Uh, we've never really had two feet of snow in one week. So a lot of our piles had to be hauled out and or pushed back. I gave this guy a list of stuff to fix in the shop. So let's go see how he's doing on that. After every snow, there's plenty of stuff to fix. Did you figure it out? No. What's the problem? Still a little calico around. So we got counters on the salters and it's not counting. Try it. Try it now while I wiggle this. So that little magnet there, every time it goes around, sends a signal to this. And it goes to the counter in the truck. So you can tell how much salt you're putting down. Did that work that time? No? I think I'd pull that plug apart, both those plugs. I would start there just because we replaced one, or you fixed one. Make sure those pins are fully making contact in there. We usually don't have problems with those, but uh, it's just a little Delphi connector, so you can take the salter out of the truck and uh, one of those connectors was bad and he replaced it a couple days ago, so I'm thinking that's what it is. So this is his list for today. Counter not working, got some lights, 202 heater not working. Not a very big list, but uh, a lot of little shit. Uh, these flaps were getting loose, so I had him put new bolts in there. So we're just getting stuff ready. Looks like we're gonna get some more snow this week. Uh, this truck I think needs a brake job and some tires. Tires are getting down there. And this is one of those times of the year where you're very grateful. We have a nice big shop to work in. 70 degrees in here. It's just so nice to have a good clean place to work on stuff. So this is what the back lot's looking like. Snow piles kind of getting in the way. This thing is just kind of a backup mower. We don't really use that. Um, I did just bid another large snow removal contract that has a shit ton of sidewalks. So if we get that, we'll probably set that unit up there. We'll probably go check on the guys in the office and uh, go see how the guys are doing pushing piles back. So. Let's go find them and see what the hell they're doing. One of the hardest things in business is learning and accepting that you can't make everybody happy. It's just too many people, too many different personalities, everybody's got different thoughts. You can't make everyone happy. So we've got some issues going on in a very small parking lot that we take a, that we've taken care of for probably eight, 10 years, I don't know. And I told my guys the first snow, I said, do not get off the parking lot, do not get in the grass at any site because our first snow was wet, which means the ground wasn't froze because it was 40 degrees the week prior. So we piled the snow basically at the edge of the parking lot. Um, long story short, now we've gotten over two feet of snow in the last week, which is 
never happened. Like, I don't remember a time that we've ever gotten that much snow in a week. And now there's a giant pile of snow there. So I had the girls in the office call this person and say, hey, would you like the snow pushed back? No response. I go by there this morning and he had someone else push the snow back. Fine, no big deal, whatever. And then sends me a message that says, make sure when they're plowing that they push the snow all the way through the yard to the piles where they currently are. And I said, yes, understood. I hope you understand why we didn't push it back that far on the first snow. Had we've done that, he'd have 10 inch ruts in his grass in the spring and then be calling me in the spring saying, well, you need to get up here and fix these ruts. It's just dumb little shit. Like people, you know, people don't understand. They have their own jobs, their own things going on. They just see a big pile of snow and well, why is that here? It's just in our way. It's never been here before. No, it hasn't. We've never gotten two feet of snow in a week. Instead of texting this person, I'm just gonna go talk to them and try and straighten it out. But I, it, it makes me so angry when people don't, you know, they act like we're doing something wrong. It's just confusing to me. So I'm gonna stop by and talk to this person and try and get that all settled out. So see how that goes long as Caleb can stay calm be nice well, I'm just pulling up to the office here go check on uh, the office staff see how things are going today see if there's anybody else calling and complaining about some snow issue checks we'll check on Derek see what he's doing this is the guy that edits all the videos in case you didn't know because Caleb doesn't have the patience for that what are we working on today we are finishing a video for Midwest builders so we do do some video work for some other uh, businesses local businesses so he uh, stays busy with that in our videos. We'll let him get back to work. Cody's getting more coffee and some snacks. They're just in here watching my video. It's yep. weird. What Mine are you working on the there? Your mom asked if we could file 1099s. 1099s? Yeah, so I was trying to figure that out. We're going to set this camera here all day and then we're going to get <clears throat> kind of a live shot of you working all day here. Okay, yeah. no. No. I like that you guys are getting me more views. Thank you. We're really working on that. Thank you. Trying to get the sub count up. How big your head looks on the screen. My head looks big on the screen? I didn't know it could look bigger on the screen than it does in person. I don't know why. That's weird. <laughs> What's Cody working on? Getting uh, shut down? Yeah, getting hung up on. Well, and stuff. Got hung up on? A few times. Damn. Got Cody doing some cold calls today. It's going pretty good. I guess it is Monday. People are probably more annoyed than anything. Yeah. Well, I guess you guys can just sit in here and watch YouTube all day and get the view count up. Yeah, that cold calling. Oof, that stuff's rough. I used to do that. Not fun. All right, everybody's working here. We'll leave them alone. Jess said my head looks big on camera, so I guess I don't know what that's all about. Our parking lot looks really nice. Man, we should hire somebody to do this. all dirty 
All right, let's run to Platteville and go check on uh, Hunter. He's pushing piles back in Platteville, so. I got nightmares in my head, I fear. So now we are in Platteville, Wisconsin, which is about 28 miles away from our home base in Fenimore. And some of you may ask, well, why do we plow snow in Platteville? Well, we like the bigger commercial accounts. Uh, we got rid of all our residential accounts two years ago. But uh, we've always wanted the bigger commercial accounts and there's just not that many in our hometown and also the prices are just ridiculous in our hometown there's some people that plow there and they've just done things so cheap and kept the prices so low for so many years that it's hard to get what we need to get to plow um, so in Platteville here there's a lot bigger contractors and there's a lot more commercial accounts and the prices, you know, from Fenimore to Platteville, yeah, I would say it's about 25 to 35% more in Platteville. So that's why we chose to come here. Um, like I said, the guys, there's some other guys that plow in Fenimore and they just, they'll work for absolutely nothing makes no sense to me so we obviously still have accounts there and uh, we're gonna keep them but just the pricing is just if I told you guys some of the prices trust me when I say this the prices are so far apart it is unbelievable so we're just showing up here let's go see how hunters doing pushing some piles back His door's still broken. How's the old Johnny Deer doing? Um, She's pushing her back. No problems. What do you got left here? Just this over here? This, the back. Okay. There was a semi that I was doing it and then a semi came up, so I, I just kept coming up this way. Okay. Alright, well, I'll keep at her. If your tires are spinning, 
You're not winning. Spinning, not winning. So I don't know why, why he's struggling so hard right now. If he would clear off that blacktop and scrape it down good so he could get some traction. But instead he's leaving himself a little eighth inch of snow which is just like ice, so I don't understand. But when you're pushing these piles back, all you gotta do is just keep chewing at the pile. You can't take big, huge chunks at once. See, like there, he's just spinning, makes no sense. This is a slow process. This isn't Speedy Gonzalez, so I don't getting a little stressed out here watching him. He must have heard me talking because now he's going nice and easy, taking his time, doesn't need to spin the tires all day long. Yes, we could go rent a loader to do this, but again, we own the skid loaders. It takes about twice as long with a skid loader, but uh, we own it and it's making us money. So, gets the job done. Usually we use the track machine when we're pushing piles back, but uh, the track machine has another hose leak, uh, hydraulic leak, so we're gonna try and get that fixed up today too. Also, I understand that some of you guys that plow with loaders, uh, larger equipment, you might not have to do this. Or you do it during the storm when you're plowing. So for us using trucks, obviously we can't push piles back with pickups. So this is just something we do. Usually about once a year, once a season in January, we have to go push the piles back. This weather is perfect for pushing piles back. It's now 30 degrees out, so he's gonna be pushing piles back all day. And then two, we always try to clear out by the fire hydrants, you know, at least close, make sure there's nothing, uh, no big piles in front of the fire hydrants. But there's, there's a lot to push back here. This is a site that I plow. Um, the other thing that uh, makes this a little tricky is the first snow we had was that wet slushy slop so wherever we put that pile you know it's basically a frozen chunk of ice so that's kind of giving him a little bit of trouble pushing this stuff back but he's getting her done with the old Johnny Deer she's a workhorse around that corner I'd like push back but that right there yeah that pile over there yeah that doesn't need to get pushed that we can fill all that oh. right. but this corner yes yeah so okay and then I got up by that dumpster yeah I'll try to clean out yeah I got that open yeah okay and then I back right kind of right where that okay door was. just telling you that that pile there that's the one can, I was talking about earlier. We can leave that, that's fine. But okay. try to get that corner. Okay. Yeah, okay, thanks. So yeah, I was just telling him that, uh, you know, this can all get filled with snow, so that doesn't have to get pushed back. But this corner here, I'd like him to push that back, so. Pretty simple. This driveway here gets drifted in horrible. It was probably drifted in I don't know, six, eight feet on each side. So 
he pushed all this back pretty nice and opened her up so this should be good just depends how much snow we get you know there's been years where we don't even have to come over here we don't have to push anything back but uh like i said earlier you get two feet of snow in a week you gotta push the stuff back or haul it out or do something with it might get two feet next week we don't know well we're just getting back to the shop here well let's go see what sean's got done see if he got that counter fixed yeah it looks just how it looked when i left last time hopefully we got something figured out here must be gonna check the brakes out on this truck definitely got a squeaky caliper going on there Old Johnny boy just put a caliper on that. Wonder if he f***ed up one of those clips. That's what it sounds like, a brake shoe or a, yeah, a brake shoe clip. Yeah, what'd you figure out on that counter? The display part or the actual? No, it's the part that needs the magnet. Oh, is it? So I'm wondering if that just got stretched out. Probably, because it was so tight. Oh, those I gotta order, and they take a while to get here, so you have to put that all back together just the way it is. And I'll get, a, I'll get another one coming. That way we got a parts one, too. So this part here is bad, which obviously the wire's pulling down on that, so yank on that a couple times, she ain't gonna work very good. So you just switch that with another truck and it works? Okay. Sounds good. That sounds like a uh, brake pad, those clips. Sounds like one of those clips is hung up or something. Now we ain't got no phone reception in the shop here. I came over here to look at our reception amplifier and uh, we seem to have a little bit of a interior leakage problem here. Blew the circuit on that. So I set that over. Everything's melting off today. So yeah, that's about all we got going on today. Not a whole lot. He's got a few more things to do on his list and uh, more snow coming tomorrow, so. The next day. Well, let's go see what's going on in the office here. Hopefully they're making some money. Mom's just eating at home oh. and scratching some lottery tickets. Busy day, busy day. 10 a.m. <laughs> seeing if we can win the lottery here. Nope, we lost. We lost. Right. Gonna have to go back to work. Okay, well, guess we'll keep praying for more snow instead. Yeah, nice little uh, rainy day going on here. I am just headed to the shop now. Uh, I got a couple guys there today, Hunter and Sean. Uh, they're fixing up a bunch of stuff in the shop. We got uh, another hydraulic hose leaking on the track machine. And then uh, we found a broken bracket on a snow plow, on the actual snow plow frame. Uh, so I'm gonna go check that out. And I think we're gonna be able to weld it up and call it good, so. All the snow's kind of turning to slush. It's 33 degrees. A little bit of a misty sleet coming down right now. I was hoping we'd have to go salt and make some money, but I don't know about that today. So we got a hydraulic hose here, one that runs all the way from that boom all the way down through here and right into there. And these steel lines look like they need to be replaced as well. 
So we might as well do them. You can't put that in. You want to get those out or what? Yeah. We're just trying to, they need something to break up the salt. Mm -hmm. I have an auger bit and then they're going to take that hammer. So they got the hose off. Yeah, it looks to me like these steel lines probably better be replaced. Because, you know, damn well, we'll put the new hose on and that steel line will blow. So, might as well replace it all. So, we got this plow torn apart as well. This center bracket was all broke. Never seen one broke like this. So I'm not sure if uh, Hunter was stacking snow or trying to push a skid loader out or what, but uh, she's definitely broke. So I had Sean clean it all up and get it ready here and I'm going to weld her back together and hopefully this will uh, be good to go after that. So I need to make some kind of a jig or something to hold this together here. So I used to do a lot of welding and fabrication. Unfortunately, being the boss, I don't really get to do this much stuff anymore. This piece here was broken, and I had told Sean to get it all ready, get it prepped, get everything ground, and uh, I would stop by and weld it. Unfortunately, there was grease all over it and oil. It was just disgusting. I really wish he would have hit it with the hot pressure washer first. So I sprayed some brake clean on there, and if you know what brake clean smells like, burning, it it'll make you sick so i was pretty much pissed off doing this can't really tell in the video but uh i just wish he would have took a little more time to prep it and clean it
professional welder. I never went to schooling. I've been welding a lot of years. Never really had an issue. So I'm sure there's some guy in the comments that'll tell me I'm doing something wrong, but uh, it's not pretty. It's not meant to be pretty. That should work. And basically all this is, <clears throat> is to get it put back together and get it usable. And I'll order, I'll order both these pieces, everything brand new. We'll have them here in stock so we can keep an eye on this. Make sure as soon as it does break, if it does again, then we can replace it. So job well done. Well, I'm just showing up here. Uh, I got a couple of the guys, well, one guy in Holly, filling uh, salt bins on our sites today. See how they're doing. Nice rainy day to fill salt bins. Yeah. Beautiful weather. Yeah, it's 34 degrees still, so. These are our salt bins. We have one on each site. Remember, all we do is commercial, so no residentials, but uh, so yeah, this one's pretty much empty. Bucket and a scoop. We tried bulk salt. Uh, the treated stuff did not work. It froze up. And then we tried some, we tried some different treated stuff it was purple and it was supposed to be dry it wasn't so we learned the hard way once again if you're gonna have these bins the only thing you can fill them with is bagged salt it has to be dry otherwise it just freezes up like concrete so these guys are filling these up today we like to do a half and half mix regular white salt and some treated salt that way they don't have to haul buckets around they just gotta haul bags around one at a time i think you could carry two After you, after you get Lancaster done, go to Platteville. How many do you want in this one? You might as well fill it up. You're here. Fill it up. Okay. Yep. So. Okay. All right. Looks good. Thanks. That's kind of rainy, cold, slushy, shitty out. So I'm sure they're not uh, super happy about having to do this today. But <clears throat> that's just the way that... Uh, it's the way that we've done it for the past four or five years. We used to carry around buckets of salt, bags of salt. It's a pain in the ass. Um, the other thing too is the customers really like these totes. Um, so if there's a little bit of ice or something, you know, the customer's free to use that uh, use that salt as well. So um, if you're in a snow removal business and uh, these are something you want to try just make sure you use dry salt have a scoop and a five gallon bucket in each one and uh, you know I think it works out excellent so uh, this is the second time we filled them initially this is the second time that they've had to fill them this season so usually we fill them initially and then maybe two or three more times in the season it just depends but you know, you find a day where they're not doing nothing and two guys can go around and fill all the bins easily in one day. And I think we have, uh, I think we have probably 40 bins. I think there's 38 or 40 of them that are out. So some of the commercial places we don't do the sidewalks at, so. All right, let's go back to the shop and see how them guys are doing fixing that skid loader and that snowplow. Get her fixed up. Bang, bang. Seems aggressive. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Appreciate it. Have a good one.